It's just, oh, it is so pretty. I love it. I do it like a clown, not gonna lie. Hi guys. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are talking about makeup. As you can see, I'm wearing lots of beautiful makeup. Today I'm gonna be sharing a fun, bright, youthful, pink makeup look. The star of today's show is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand in the color Dream Pop. This is a new blush that recently came out. It is super popular. I am obsessed in love. I've only had it for about two weeks, but I've worn it practically every day that I've worn makeup. So obsessed with it. Love it, love it, love it. Before I keep here any longer, let's just jump right into it. So first I'm gonna start off with the Yora Lip Plump. This is a new brand that I actually discovered in TK Maxx. I love this lip balm, it's so nice. Okay, lips are done. Next we're gonna do foundation. Like I said, the star of today's show is the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Beauty Blush Wand. I'm obsessed with this. So for the most part, like the rest of this routine we've seen a million times. For foundation, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear. But before we get onto that, I'm going to just get my beauty blender wet. I've got the tiniest bit of a setting spray. My face is looking a lot better these days. My skincare routine is really giving the thick. Oh, I love this foundation so much. Also, I'm wearing sunscreen. If you want to see what my um, skincare routine is, then I will have my most recent morning skincare routine video linked down below so you can see all the products that I've used to get to this point. I'm also wearing the um, Murad Invisi Blur sunscreen. Obsessed with that sunscreen. It's a great sunscreen. This foundation is amazing. I've said this for a bit. I think now that my skin is doing a lot better as well, I feel like my makeup just looks so much nicer. Oh, I love how this looks. It's really flawless, really natural, all covered up. Recently what I've been doing to set my foundation, instead of using a powder, I've been using a setting spray. And the one I've been using is the It Cosmetic Your Skin But Better. So after I've done my foundation, I will just set my face with this. I find that my face is a lot more like glowy throughout the day and my makeup just lasts a lot more throughout the day. So we're gonna give a bit of a spritz. Shake and spritz. So refreshing, that feels really nice. My lips look ridiculous. Next, we're gonna do brows. I have the Glossier Boy Brow in the color black. I usually do this in a bigger mirror because I find that I always put on a bit too much. I think the way that the light is hitting, my eyebrows are looking a bit uneven. Then next we're gonna do mascara. I briefly talked about this. I think I mentioned this in my favorites video, my winter favorites. So next we have the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. I'll give that a bit of a wiggle. This mascara is amazing, love it. Look at that, the difference in the lash is insane. Like. It's so crazy. I love this mascara. It's worth every single penny because like, oh, amazing. Oh, oh, amazing. I'm literally like gonna cry from how I look. It looks so beautiful. I actually love this mascara. It looks so nice. Stunning. Okay, then next we are now onto the most important part of the makeup look. The blush so like i said i <laughs> keep talking about this so today we're using the charlotte tilbury pillow talk matte beauty blush wand this is in the color dream pop i think this comes in four different colors this comes in a pink like this an orangey color a baby pink kind of color and i think there is an exclusive color that's only exclusive to charlotte tilbury which is like a corally color i can't remember what it looked like but i have seen it and it looks really nice like i said i've got dream pop i have ordered another color but it's not arrived i really was hoping it would be here by the time i was filming this video so i could show it to you but that's okay this is 30 pounds you can get this from asos cult beauty charlotte tilbury john lewis phil unique sephora basically you type this into google a bunch of results will come up but i also have this linked down below in case you want to check it out for yourself even though this is 30 pounds i got this for 20 
for either 24 or 26 pounds. I got this from ASOS when they had 20% off everything, or was it 25% off? I can't remember, basically I didn't pay full price for this. But yeah, this is 30 pounds, you can get this from a bunch of different places. I have slowly but surely become obsessed with Charlotte Tilbury products, as we can see already from this makeup routine. I've already used like, two of her products and I've got a bunch of other products from the brand as well. Last year I went on holiday and if you watched any of my holiday videos then you will know that I was really obsessed with the highlighter um, wands and I was using that religiously so when I heard about the blush I was like of course I have to try it out. So I've been using this and loving this blush for the long, I say the longest time, it's only been about a week, maybe two weeks. <laughs> so it's not been that long, but it feels long for me because I've literally been wearing this every single day. I love it. I think it's amazing. It looks really nice on my skin and I just love it so much. So anyway, we're going to get into using. I'm almost like, do I want to go like heavy or like light? But this is a girly pink makeup look. So let's just, you know, let's go light and then I can build up. It's so pigmented as well, that's what I love about this. Originally I was using my fingers, but then I just felt like using a brush is a lot better because I hate having to wash my hands after I've done my makeup. So I'm just gonna like blend that out with a brush. Just like really smile to get that, to get the look. And then I'm gonna like put it on my nose as well because I love that like rosy pink. I do you know, I've done a lot. <laughs> this is more than I would normally do. Like it's just, ugh. It is so pretty. I love it. I do it like a clown, not gonna lie. And then what I'm gonna do, because it's a lot, this is what I always do. I'm gonna take a little bit. I'm just gonna definitely do it on this first before I did mascara. Looking crazy right now. I'm gonna take my beauty blender. That still has some foundation on it. I'm just gonna go over the top and just like tone it down. But I just love it, like how cute is that? I do look a bit clownish, but a bit of pink, like when I look at myself in the mirror at work, I feel so happy. Because I'm all pink. <laughs> like it just looks so cute. It's very girly. And I like this color for dark skin, because it does kind of give you that like natural, it gives a flush slash like a super girly over the top kind of color. I think that's okay. I think that's cute. Then, because, because I love me some pink, I'm gonna go over the top of that with the NARS Orgasm. I love this blush so much. Go over the top of that just to give the pink a bit of a wow. Oh wow, a oh, wow factor. Just like bring that on the nose and just like shimmy that shimmy that everywhere nice oh look at that oh i'm like obsessed with what i look like right now that looks really nice let me make sure they don't look too crazy guys i am obsessed i don't feel like this is really the light is not doing me justice at all that's fine and then, last but not least, to really finish this off, I'm just gonna set my face using the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. A bit of a shake. Nice. Found that out a bit. Let that settle down. And this is basically what we look like. I'm going to put some earrings in, get dressed, gonna get changed, gonna do all the things. So I will see you guys in just a second for the final look but before we do look at that like i just love like the pinkness of it i just oh like i love it it's just like oh it's so pretty it's pretty i really hope that the light is picking this up because this looks so nice in the mirror like you can really see how pink it is in the mirror but i don't know i feel like on camera it's not really coming out that well but trust when i get back in just a minute i will show you everything okay so this is finished makeup look it is very cute, very nice. I love it. I love that the pink is really coming through. I think the Charlotte Tilbury blush mixed with the NARS blush is making it look a bit orange, which I love. I love orange on brown skin. And I just feel like this pink looks really nice 
really soft, really delicate, but it's also very like fun and fresh and young, which I love. I have been wearing this to work basically for the last two weeks and I love it. I think it's a very fun, wearable makeup look to wear to work. Literally, I'm obsessed. The only small critique I have for this is I wish I'd have done a bit more of my lids before I put on my mascara, but I wasn't thinking, but yeah. This is it, this is the final makeup look. I, obviously you guys know I love it. I hope you guys like it too. Let me know down below if you have used the Charlotte Tilbury matte blush wands yet. What is your favorite color? Like I said, I've also ordered the orange version, so make sure you stay tuned on this channel where I'll be using that as well. I just think this is such a great, 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 great product. I'm definitely a Charlotte Tilbury convert. I think I've said this a couple of times now. I'm for sure a Charlotte Tilbury convert, so this is from here on out a Charlotte Tilbury stan channel because her makeup is amazing and I love how I feel when I'm wearing it. So that is all from me in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and in the meantime, I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.